Greetings, Planeswalkers. It's the Gamesman. Hope things are going well for you. Wanted to cover a black and red deck. Kind of a concept deck. Revolves around blood tokens and vampires. A little bit of a theme deck, so... We'll start off with some of the lower power cards. Blood Beckoning, Blood Fountain, Gift of Fangs. This is a, a common card, but a really good card. It's, it takes out a lot of creatures in the early game or buffs your vampires, of course. Mind Carver, in keeping with the theme, and the Ceremonial Knife. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a lot of vampires in this deck. Null Priest of Oblivion is a great card to bring back stuff that's in your graveyard. Restless Blood Seeker with its transformation, and we should generate a lot of blood tokens when it comes to this deck, so this should be a fairly quick and easy transformation. Slaughter Specialist, this is a good card. Vampire's Kiss for more blood tokens. And uh, the Valderan Bloodcaster we can transform as well. This is a, an excellent card. There's not a lot of sorceries and instants in here, but uh, enough to make it worth your while. Curse of Shaken Faith uh, just kind of fitted in, I thought, with the theme. Sanguine statu Statuette, but uh, Tithe Harvester. Hungry for More has a nice little uh, token creature, Trample Lifelink Haste. Empire Socialite, we can get some counters on our creatures and Wedding Invitation. We're going to get Lifelink and we can break through blockers. Three mana range, we've got more Blood Token stuff. This is a new uh, card from the Capenna expansion. Stromkirk Blood Thief as a uh, counter vampire. Um, Bloodline Calling, taking out some bigger creatures if we need to. Path of Peril, if we've got to just abort and bail on uh, the creature buildup. Belligerent Guest, more blood tokens. And we've got uh, a sorcery that a vampire can do damage to a target creature. Vampire's Vengeance, another one of those culling cards that will take out uh, hordes of 1-1s one or even 2-2s. Two once we get enough vampires out, we could take control of a pretty big creature with the Dominating Vampire. Blood Servitors for the Blood Token. In the 4 mana range, this is a, a good card for a common especially. Uh, sacrificing a Blood Token gets a plus 2, plus 2. Henrika Domnathi, this is a, a, a neat card if you play it right, obviously uh, Mythic. Um, it's got a lot of versatility and uh, can really dominate the battlefield. Innocent Traveler I like, uh, especially if you've got uh, an opponent that has humans in their deck. Uh, that's, a, that's a fairly inexpensive card for what it does. Obviously we've got Soren the Mirthless. Uh, I like this card as well. Angie, Maid of Dishonor, and then the Immersturm Predator for our Vampire Dragon. Uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar with how good that card is. Uh, this is not a, a terribly quick deck, but we do have some pretty nice cards in the upper ranks. This this uh, Vampire Scrivener, you get plus one, plus one counter whether you lose life or gain life. Uh, and if the battle's going poorly, this is a good card. If the battle's quit well, also a good card. And uh, the uh, Vampire's Kiss, you'll get the life to pump that card as well. Shadow's Verdict, again, uh, we can uh, go Scorched Earth on the battlefield if we need to. Wedding Security, I've, I've had my fair share of uh, opponents that have this card, and uh, boy, what a pain this card can be. Um, Westgate Regent, this card is uh, a game changer in my opinion. Uh, it, it, it potentially could be considered a, a, a mythic card as, as strong as it is. Uh, if your opponent doesn't take this card out quickly, uh, it rapidly overwhelms them. Uh, and the fact that it has war just adds to that. About the only drawback is it's five black, or five, two, two black, three uh, colorless. 
Uh, Falcon Wrath Celebrants, more blood tokens, burn down the house, another one of those Scorched Earth cards. We get some devil creatures. We're just throwing a party with the evil. And then uh, let's throw this card in. This is from the last uh, Capenna expansion as well. Uh, it's got an option. Uh, you see blue mana on there, but that, that's an optional. Uh, it could be two colorless and three black if you wanted to. And I think it's a, it's a good enough card to put in here. It's a rare, obviously. And you can play cards from Exile with collection counters on them and spend any mana that you want. Plus, it's a, it's a solid card at 2-5. Grizzly Ritual. We can take out some of our opponent's creatures and create blood tokens, and then Olivia's Attendance. This is a 6-6 uh, six, six card with Menace. Uh, create blood tokens and just deal damage to any target in the late game. This can be a really solid, solid card. Uh, we've got uh, Swamps, Mountains, Blightstaff Pathway, Seer Step Pathway, and Sulphurous Mire, and just to round things out, the Voldaren Estate. Uh, it's a fairly thick card, and you know what, how I feel about thick decks. Um, again, not a super fast card, but or super fast deck, but uh, fun to play, kind of a cool theme. Um, I don't necessarily think the blood token uh, mechanic is all that great, especially uh, when it first came out and I attempted to design a deck around it. Uh, it was a little weak. I didn't feel like it had a, uh, a good mechanic to it. It's an okay mechanic. Obviously, you can uh, draw cards in the late game if you've got some and, and cards you want to toss. Uh, so there's a bit of a cycling mechanic there, but uh, it wasn't. It certainly wasn't a, a game-changing mechanic unless you had something that built upon the drawing and discarding. And in the case of uh, the conniving uh, mechanic from the Capenna, I think uh, I'm, I've been tossing around creating a deck uh, with blood tokens and conniving, so I'll, I'll uh, post that when I get to it. Do you guys have any suggestions? Uh, for this deck or comments, uh, please leave them and subscribe for, for uh, more deck concepts. I hope you like it, and uh, we'll see you in the planes. This is the Gamesmen saying so long.